Once again, I have this very original idea that I've never done before, where I play a nation in Hearts of Iron and I will turn them into the strongest nation on earth. If this thing continues, it's just gonna be a Hoi 4 A to Z, but in a very scuffed order and with the objective of making every single nation the strongest one they can be. As for the Soviets, we're going for an unconventional start, which is basic technology. We are going to build a few military factories. As for the Navy, I'm gonna destroy all of our ship progress for convoys. If you look at that, we only have 50 convoys. That is not a whole lot. And it's also a Russian boat. Those have never been successful. We're gonna save our PP, no focus. Put stuff on guns for now. Send all of our boats up here. Group them up. We'll take the Mountaineers, give them to Rokosovsky. Take the tanks and give them to Rokosovsky. First, we want to prepare a naval invasion. Spoiler, we will attack the UK. Uh, Vasily is always nice. Popov is also insane. He's level two. He has brilliant strategist, is an infantry officer. Honestly, he's one of the best starting generals you can have. Sure, he's low level, but because he does have brilliant strategist and is only level two, if you give him Panzer Leader, Panzer Leader also is more likely to gain attack skill on level ups and a brilliant strategist is. So he's like, he can just turn into this absolute beast. As for the Turks, always mobilize, they will always back down. 5% war support for free. I was so focused on this whole thing, I forgot about this. The biggest downside is we are behind on our focus. This wouldn't be an episode for me if it was done perfectly. And the Navy is also very simple for once. Just select it, get all the light cruisers, select it, get all the submarines. Ow! I fucked up already. Uh, all light cruisers, unselect, unselect, get him, select this one, get all of the destroyers, and boom. We have a perfect navy that can support up to the Scottish Highlands. Battleships have access to the North Sea and your submarines have access through the Danish Straits into the North Sea, so you have this perfect balance and we don't have a huge navy but the navy is good enough because it's hearts of iron we will go for improved worker conditions get a little bit more stability once again dispersed because we will conquer the allies asap we're gonna rush down to the center would have probably been better to justify in Canada. Would have generated more world tension. And then we might have been able to get war economy before we go to war with the, the UK. As for spies, you know the drill. You can also immediately go for the US by going through Alaska. I think with Kamchatka you have enough range to go to Washington and Oregon. I'm gonna go with the elusive gentleman. Suicide calls. Today I'm not taking them, I'm just researching them. One thing we need to do, or we should do, is reform the army. The big things we cannot do until we have sated Stalin's desire to kill. So we're gonna go with the common turn. And we're gonna go for the Middle East immediately. Let's declare war on British Malaya. We will lose the five-year plan tree, but I never go for it. It's just, you have too much to do, especially the common turn side of the tree. I'd rather do this, dominate the Balkans and the Baltics and the Middle East, than 2%... Fa yeah, like, you get research bonuses, but... <sighs> As for our attack, it did fail. Sometimes they are just smart and have the navy out. Doesn't happen often, but sometimes it does. There we go! It worked! I think this was just because this time I was quicker. I got the justification and then immediately declared war instead of waiting a few days. We don't have any stability right now, but this is fine. Oh, interesting! <laughs> I will get Ethiopia as well! <laughs> Here we go. We have landed. Yes! I was wondering, but... Uh, it's only this one that's blocked by paranoia. The Great Pat Patriotic War is not blocked by paranoia. Now they don't have a split front, which means I should encounter a few divisions, but doesn't really look like it. I'm just not allowed to capitulate them to get desperate measures. Wait a minute. For a second I was very scared because Italy has war participation. We can- <laughs> We can lose to count by Stalin before we're done with the purge! <laughs> yes! I love 
it. I'm just breaking the game. <laughs> Trotsky. Okay, another 35 days, which should be the internal. No, let's go for equation first, yeah. As for the UK, just a little bit longer. Ooh. Krzysztofski, we could give him Panzer Expert, but I don't think I have time for tanks. I will, I will go for tanks one game. I, I will make a Soviet game where I go for tanks. I already have an idea for that. But now I just want to go for the strongest one and this one requires speed and just look at this. We can just take... <laughs> I love it. We have Ethiopia now. Horses, horses are good. Bold attack first. Oh, actually, I could go for the motorized today because we will have a lot of oil and we will also have a lot of rubber. 1937. And we are already a pretty big Soviet Union. Gonna go for the local police force today, I think. Yeah, local police force. I'm good with that. And then just chuck this army over here, this army over here. You don't even have to go through the Atlantic, you can go over the Pacific. Then we can shoot Trotsky. Gun deficit is not that bad, honestly. 100% world tension, I like to see that. Group our navies up, hold, delete all, group them and bring them over to Vladivostok. We're gonna go for the Philippines. Not that it really matters in terms of world tension. Oh, we're gonna have a repeat. <laughs> France will join. <laughs> France will join the US. And then we can also inspect the Navy. No, thank you. Just what I was thinking about, Mr. Stalin. Call up government. I'm gonna shoot him regardless, but I'm gonna keep the event up so we can get more political paranoia. Can't go for this one yet, but we can go for Afghan communism. And you can already see the Middle East is getting influenced, which is also very nice that we did it so early because they can go for neutral foreign policy. I honestly love that we have Ethiopia. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Why can't we? Forgot about it. US passes neutrality act. Well, I will see about that. Sure. France will join. That's fine by me. They want to take London. Fine by me. Hitler hasn't even Anschluss and I'm already at war with every single allied power. Ooh, that's actually pretty bad. Yeah, I'm gonna take the paranoia hit for once. I can only go for this one. As for this, we get 30 paranoia. Yeah, let's shoot someone in the army, I guess. They probably landed there. Yeah, that's Canada. I should've just sent my navy up to the to Canada. Oh, fuck off, no. At least it's historical. It would make sense. If Stalin wasn't so scared of Zhukov, he would have shot him. Definitely. You can also move, you know? You are allowed to do this. I'm not modern day Russia where I will shoot you if you just do something that I didn't order you to. It's just war score that I get. This is big brain, you know? The more war score I get, the more I can take from France once Germany caps them. This is Russian D chess. A new One Piece character. <laughs> Russian D chess. This one is very important if you go for tanks, this one for anything else. There we go, the US is gone. I'm gonna send our navy over here and we're gonna send these guys over here. You can chill here and then let's send a second stack here. This one is very nice, you will live a happy life. 5% compliance growth speed. I'm gonna wait for France to capitulate. This way we'll also get all of our stuff back that they stole, like Africa. How ironic, France is defending Scotland. Ah, damn it. We didn't get them as puppets today, but this is also fine. If you want to, you can also use your spies to influence these guys. Boom, we've got this. And everyone in here, attack, attack. And we can prepare the naval invasion. Spanish Civil War has ended and we just conquered America. Just annex all of it as well. And now things will get very interesting. Because the Germans will get a war goal on France, which we own now, they will get a war goal on us. Let's just chill for a second to reform the army. <laughs> if I don't do it now, I will attack Japan and then I'll attack China and then the Germans will attack me and then it's over already. Since we're still purging, I also can't really get anyone here. Actually, I think Timoshenko survives until the end, so you can't take him unless you get some bad RNG with the events. And now we will 
give everyone the chance to live a happy life. Almost good to go. Let's just add the French Navy <laughs> to my power gauntlet. Uh, sure. I will support you, China. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. <laughs> 10,000 days for artillery. Okay. Just gonna do this. And then we're gonna go convoy raiding. Something cool that can also happen now. And I really hope it does. They will go for Sudetenland and then Danzig or war. Give us half of Poland and then go for war with France. Oh well. Uh, around the Maginot and then for war with France and then we'll just they just gave us half of Poland two months later They will attack us. I hope this is gonna happen okay. Oh political paranoia is gone Yes Please ignore please 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 don't attack. Yes, okay I could also just say screw it send everyone to area defense Japan lessons of war. Yes. Yes. Honestly, I don't care about the Middle East right now. I have bigger fish to fry. And that fish is sushi. Sushi with vodka. This was a mistake, Hungry. Just wait. Just you wait. Renouncing the Treaty of Triano. Who do you think you are? God, you get so many operatives. I completely forgot about that. It's still a bit of a joke that the Communist Italy agency is better than the Soviet one. It's such a weird power scaling that they did. But I, I legitimately forgot how much you get as the Soviets. Yep. Just... <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> no, Turkey, I can't spare anything right now, I'm sorry. I will be at war with an ideological threat in just a minute. China. There we go. This has got to be a bug. If we both demand something and then I forfeit it, the AI will not want it anymore and we will just release the former country military reorganization right china is gonna be cringe now our front with china is pretty much just everywhere <laughs> it's 1939 seriously one and a half hours <laughs> i will come to regret saying that fate of czechoslovakia and i forgot about justifications no Knowledge breaks the chains of slavery, always good. And then I also like the left one because you get justification reduction and war support and also the uh, division recovery rate. It's just such a nice part of the tree. Once again, I don't really care about India. They can conquer it. I could release them, but none of my business right now. Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> Ribbentrop, yes, I forgot. I did indeed forget about the non-aggression pact. Japanese provocation. <laughs> Sure. Uh, should I call? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna call in. Actually, if I call in Mongolia, yeah, sure, I'll call in Mongolia. And then we can pressure you all. <gasps> Logistics was out. Yes. Especially considering they're fighting in China, this is good. Oh, cool! Now I see the supply hubs. Special map mode unlocked. After staring long enough at the map, you will know the supply hubs. Let's do this then. Let's prepare for the invasion of Iran. Everyone just keeps on refusing me. I could also secure Leningrad right now. I have enough on my plate. Honestly, so far, this is my least favorite strongest nation because it's just so... There's so much to do. There we go. We are attacking Iran. No. Why? <laughs> Just annex them, please. If this continues, I'm just gonna start playing with the state transfer tool every single time. Because I genuinely don't think this is fun. <laughs> I just love the fact that they got encircled and nobody is doing anything here. They just stand around and I'm paying these guys. Ah, <sighs> microing a China war. Isn't there anything that's less fun? Oh, we might need to hurry up with this China war. Why did I not get collaboration governments? I thought about it earlier, I forgot about it. <laughs> I guess they were pieced out because of the... Huh. Focusy. Well, we could make a collab government for the Germans. I will do that. Don't really need these things, but these are cheap to do. The hit of the hammer is nice. The other one is useless. I just took them so we can get the 10 propaganda things. 12 days, 140, 61. Scissors! Oh, someone is defending Nanjing. That's new. They are actually defending their capital. Japan declared war on Shanxi just as they capitulated. 
The communist threat receding. <laughs> I don't think so, brother. I'd be worried if it was. Italian volunteers for a juicy meaty Italian pocket. A little bit of pizza with rice. Japan has capitulated? They are 0% towards capitulation, but they have capitulated. And if we can take Xinjiang, then all of these divisions are encircled. We can also fix the Air Force. I think it's about time. I'll use my offshore banking for secure factories. The problem is there's no VPs anymore that we can take from Xinjiang. So we'll just have to take land and land only gives you so much. Komichana is gone. This one is prepared. I don't have 50% network. Ooh, that's a lie. Because I have 0%. Oh man. I honestly feel like some divisions just left the front line. This front fell very quickly. Germans, the Germans are coming, okay. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Full Metal Alchemist. It is an amazing show that you should definitely watch. One of the best anime out there. If you loved Avatar The Last Airbender, you'll love Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm only kidding, of course. There's no way I'd ever get a sponsor. My mouth is too loose for that. I'm just gonna counterspell my neighbor. Uh, can we hurry this up, please? I have to go. I have to go somewhere important. Guangxi is gone. That's not what I care about. I care about China being gone. Yes, four percent. They are gone. All oh, right, because my allies are in this war. <gasps> I meant to click pause. I meant to click pause. <laughs> oh shit. This would be such a baller move. You kill millions of the people, you completely decimate a country, and then in the peace deal, you just walk out. Pass is down here. Has it always been down here? Ooh, you are a beast now. 7757 and so many trades. Engineer, hill fighter, infantry, logistics wizard, offensive dog. I'm gonna do the following. There we go, send these guys here, send these guys here. We lose land, but I just don't wanna bother with this whole sending X troops here, X troops here. I'm just gonna let it auto. We can do two things, improve relations and pressure them. Diplo pressure. <laughs> Non-aligned, yes. Yes, you are non-aligned, my friend. Oh, nice. Artillery. 10% artillery attack. Nice. That is big indeed. German innovations. I didn't even agree to that. <laughs> I love how there's just every single faction member is in here and nobody's in Poland. Okay, Germany. Come on. I'm gonna create two final armies, but then you have to declare war on me. As for the fleets, just start raiding convoys. What? So Higuan oil prospection? Is that Chinese? Xiguan? I'm just breaking the game. We do have enough collaboration governments for the Germans. We do have enough armies. We can ask for Leningrad back. Oh well, for uh, Sakhalin. What? Karelia. Sekalin is over here. I did my brain, man. I didn't just find a German, so huh? it shouldn't take long. Yeah. 45 days. And build roads here for the sweet, sweet silver gold. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Finland. That's awfully nice of you. This will just be an utter steamroll. Declare war. Oh no, 17% well tension. I just needed a, all of them to group up. So now we have a beautiful front line to manage. Doesn't really matter on the eastern front, or the western front, because as soon as I push through Switzerland again, we have to redo all of it. And you know what? 
No, I'm not gonna call in Lithuania. It's just gonna make the peace deal weird. We have 90% collaboration with the Germans. They can take Africa for all I care. It's not my priority today. Let's just make a push on both sides. Oh, that's a lot of green. This axis is stronger than usual. I'm gonna wait a little bit because we are taking heavy losses. But this axis has not taken any damage yet from the allies. Yeah, I'm just gonna make some light pushes down here. Might be able to take Bulgaria and Romania out of the war. Or get encircled with two different divisions. Oh my god, can you... Two different stacks just got encircled. And one of them has already died. Well, they took the... They took Buhagas, but... Uh, get them out of here. Yes. Unnecessary losses. Whee! Go, and we have encircled these divisions. 30 divisions. There's still a port that they can take, but this is pretty good. If possible, we can encircle these Romanian divisions. It's 15 Romanian divisions. Three tanks. Yes, 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 yes. No, Romania is almost gone. I mean, after this battle, I would also think about capitulating. Don't think I need to think about deploying new... Oh, actually, I kind of... Yeah, these planes will just trickle back into our air squadron, so I'm fine with not microing the planes for now. God, 20 divisions. I guess I might as well go for collaboration governments in the Italians. The war support. Probably convoys. Combat, convoys, enemy bombing, so... Can also just go for everything. 6,000 enemy planes. 12,000, ugh! And that's just from the Germans. Romania is gone, yes. Do not blab. <laughs> I can push, but it's not gonna do anything. Okay, I'm gonna stop He Actually, we're pushing in Italy. Oh, they're attacking me, yes, I did it. It's pointless to push the Western Front, we just take so much damage. And I guess I can also build AA and radar and such. My two years value, just turning all of Europe into a no-fly zone. Construction repair, definitely now. <gasps> we have green air, okay, no, no, no. <gasps> we have green air here, yellow air, I guess. Almost 30,000 planes destroyed. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Don't think we can push here. Yeah, it's just too much defense. Actually, we might. I think we can. Yeah, we can do this. Especially with a little bit of orc shuffling. <sighs> we did it. <laughs> the Germans have mill access through Lithuania. We're pushing them and they just walk past. Turkey joined the. Now, if that isn't cringe, then I don't know what is. He has harsh leader and only one attack? I would give Stalin the command but he is absolutely trash what the fuck socialist bulgaria oh no they're gonna call in everyone now how many fighters 5k <laughs> italy italy soon doesn't have any planes left romania almost has more fighters than italy god <laughs> this looks like hoi for multiplayer Ooh, and they are all and shuckled mm. Mm. the casualties oh the humanity 3.6, 3.8. Soon you won't have to worry about being bombed anymore. Ah, uh, let's just see if we can push. That's about what I expected. Uh, those Italian troops are not looking too fresh. I mean, they're looking fine, but not insane. 130 divisions in Belgium. Oh, it's not this one. Because there was orange. I was like, oh, this is this one, but no, this is this one. Okay, I, I need to save PP now. I need war support and I need the aluminum. Aluminium. Plain material. I need plain material. <laughs> Counter encirclement. Scraping the barrel and you only have 800. Fall of Rome. God, I love Italy. They're so easy to capitulate. God, look at the strength of these divisions. We don't really have divisions here, but considering the strength of these divisions, these are all I need. Nope, I will keep everything. Okay, cool. Didn't get Italy this time. This front line is disgusting now. 
<laughs> we just have a back door here. I'm gonna give all of you this order instead. And you attack, because there's not a lot of traditions here. They should be able to push through relatively easy. 70,000 planes versus my 42,000. This is probably the ugliest Axis war I've ever had to go through. Ooh, Sweden! It's looking interesting. The big thing about pushing into North Germany is we will get all of their industry. So sure they have 5,000 fighters and they are trading us heavily, but the longer this goes on, the less fighters they will be able to produce now because we just took the capital and most of the industry is around here and then also the Rhineland. <laughs> this front line is so cursed! We could take the Netherlands out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be sneaky. Maybe they don't have anyone here. This is no, no divisions, but we can get the planes. And now I can use the other front as well. Put on pressure in Belgium. Oh, the Germans are gone. So only the Turks, Hungary, Bulgaria. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna set up my own German puppet state. Usually I would take them, but because my allies are in this war, I can... Okay, nothing happens. Oh no, Japan has embargoed us. Whatever will I do without your bountiful resources? A oh, five oil. That is a nice casualty ratio. Let's say 18 million probably from me. Uh, a little less. Actually 18 million, maybe even 19 million for my 3.4 million losses. Most of them were planes. Even the Germans have taken out 90,000 of my planes. We still don't have green air. <laughs> You're just standing around. This entire war could have been won already. 22 million casualties on the Axis side. It's been a while since I've seen such high numbers. Almost, almost confirmed an exit here. I also didn't get an Italian pub this time, although I got the event for it. Trading card game Yavus? That's an interesting name for a ship. You do you. This is the strongest Soviets you can have. The game, once again, took way longer than I wanted to. A whole four hours, can you imagine that? Honestly, two and a half of these hours were spent on China and Germans. If I had better planes, I could have taken the Germans out much quicker. Or if the Germans were, if the Germans suffered from the allies. As for China, I mean Chi China could have been so much smoother if we got that one collaboration government, but we lost the uh, we lost the compliance on it. The spy network. Bit of a shame. Apart from this grind, this was actually fun. I was also a nice little overlord because I gave Japan North Sakalian back. 